Hi, I'm Bill Nitsche with UGI Heating and Cooling in the Reading Division. We're at St. Paul's Catholic Church in City Reading. We took out a service, a 1.5 million, 1 million BTU boiler that served two buildings, and we installed four Wild McLean modulating gas boilers uh, to take its place. We're in the, uh, the church basement right now, and, and we have two Wild McLean 550,000 B2 modulating boilers um, controlled by a lead boiler that's here and depending on the load and the outdoor temperature will bring on the other boiler. Uh, most of the time the system will operate under uh, one boiler with a huge savings to the church with their gas consumption. The original boiler would, uh, would always fire at the same rate. So it's like putting your gas, your foot on the gas pedal all the way to the floor every time you had to go 25 miles an hour. All the BTU usage. With these systems, you will get um, a different range of BTUs depending on what the outdoor temperature is. So if it's 50 degrees out and it's a damp day and you need heat, they won't fire to their maximum capability. They'll just come up and give you enough heat for that, to meet that demand. And as the weather gets colder, the BTU usage will increase to meet the load. Um, majority of the time you'll have one boiler operating which is a fraction of the total BTUs that were used before. We had one boiler doing two buildings and one building obviously not being used as much as the other one. People live in the rectory. So the boiler would always have to maintain temperature and always fire at that high rate even if they just needed to heat the building over there when this building wasn't being used. Now we have four boilers, and the same scenario in that building, one, build, one boiler would carry the load most of the time, and it also modulates. So depending on what the outdoor temperature is, that's how, much, how many BTUs they'll get. And as the weather gets colder, the BTUs will increase, and the other boiler will, will come on to really meet that load if it's really cold out. This, is, this was a, a corner part of the church that wasn't being utilized at all. We completely created this room. We put all the drywall, fire-rated drywall up, and uh, ran electric. And the gas line that's right here actually travels about 300 feet um, down to the other end of the church through the rectory and then all the way out to North 9th Street. Um, we had to cut the boilers piping in the other room and split the two boiler, the two buildings. And we ran all this pipe here that you see above me all the way back and all the way around to the other area. So we have about 300 feet of three inch copper in this building and we have at least 300 feet of uh, gas piping that goes back to the meter.